Hi, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm gonna to take you for a walk around the Lamar CC10. This is a 102 by 20, 10,000 pound car hauler, or some are referred to as a buggy hauler. It's got a few optional features on it. We'll take you around and show you those as we walk around the trailer. Let's start out up front. Trailer's got the optional adjustable coupler with the 7,000 pound drop leg jack. Notice the coupler's a cast coupler, not stamped. Jack's a setback 7,000 pounder. For those not familiar, it's got the uh, grease dirt for built-in serviceability. Trailer also has the cold weather rated sealed wire harness. So not only do you get a sealed harness, but it's also a flexible cold weather rated. So this harness is designed to stay flexible down to negative temperatures. The drop leg jack, for those not familiar, you'd simply pull this pin, inner leg will drop out, you repin it. That way you've only got a crank with the inner adjustment the last few inches instead of the whole 12 or 14 inches. It also adjusts a lot farther than a traditional A-frame jack. Trailer's got a five inch channel full wrap tongue. It's pretty well an industry standard. Full wrap simply means it wraps the whole way back. Occasionally you'll get some car trailers that'll stop farther forward. Now a couple things that are a little bit different on this particular unit. It is a car hauler, but it comes equipped with a stake pocket and rub rail. Oftentimes you won't find the um, rub rail on most car haulers. Now that said, a few reasons why it's important on this trailer. One, it's gonna give you more tie downs. But then two, if you take your rear mounted ramps, you can load them at the side in side load quads, UTVs, golf carts, etc. Trailer's got a pipe headache rack. It's got bullet LED lights. It's got pinstriping. Another feature this particular unit has that many in the industry don't is a structural channel side rail. So the side rail I got my hand on, they make out a structural channel, whereas a lot in the industry are gonna take a piece of fab steel, bring it out and then down. So you got something a little more structural on the side rail. Also underneath the trailer, Lamar does structural channel cross members, even on their car haulers. Traditionally on a car hauler, you're gonna get an angle iron cross member. And then on your equipment trailers, you get a structural channel. They do the heavier structural channel, even on car haulers such as this. A couple other things we like. Some manufacturers do uh, drive over fenders like these on a 78 inch width. These are actually gonna be 10 foot drive over fenders. Give you a very low approach angle. Uh, they're well reinforced. Rather than just one center brace, like some we've seen, these have braces at either end. They're also boxed out. Your wiring's all protected, gives extra strength. Very slick design. Radial tires are standard. Of course, on a six lug, be a 5,200 pound axle, you're gonna have the full size 12 inch brakes, brakes on both axles. The newer style never adjust brakes by Dexter or because it's got Dexter axles. And it's also got the easy loop hub. So you'd simply peel out that black cap and you can service your own bearings. Moving on back to the trailer, you got additional tie down points with your stake pockets and rub rail. Now again, another thing you wouldn't often see would be a uh, gusset on the beaver tail. Now, a lot of manufacturers, even up to and including 14,000 pound GVWs, don't put that gusset plate on. They do here even on a 10K trailer. Occasionally, sometimes you also see them on a 14K trailer if it's got a four foot beaver tail. This one here we equipped with a two foot beaver tail. Again, making it pretty rare to see that uh, gusset there. So the trailer does have all LED lights. A couple other things that uh, you wouldn't always see would be that extra side marker. You're only required to have a stop turn tail at the rear uh, and then your three center markers, uh, but they do it anyway. Trailer also is not required to have reflector tape, but you'll notice on this trailer, uh, they've got reflector tape on the side and then all the way across the back. Trailer also has side mount ramps, I'm sorry, rear load, rear load ramps instead of side mount ramps. Uh, rear load ramps are certainly more convenient to use and then if there's something parked next to you, uh, you can still use the trailer without having to pull out or move something to the side. So again, we do these with a two foot beaver tail, five foot slide out ramps. It's got a two by eight treated wood floor so this being a 20 footer, it's got 18 foot of flat, two foot of beaver tail. A trailer like this is gonna weigh in in the mid twos. You're gonna be about 27, give or take 100 pounds. It's gonna give you a net legal payload of about 7,700. 
trailer like this can be used for all kinds of things from hauling a full-size pickup truck some guys use them to haul rock crawlers uh, some guys use them to side load quads all kinds of uh, things that these 102 inch decks can be used for with the drive over fenders so I didn't point out earlier but this is a 102 deck uh, when you see a drive over fender a 102 decks almost a, a must uh, so what we're gonna do on a 102 deck we're gonna bring the side out flush with the uh, with the edge of the trailer so your outside rub rail is going to be 102 in line with your fender and then your actual deck is going to be about 97 inches give or take still uh, even with the driver fenders still the same fender height suitable to get a average sedan on so folks, again, this is a CC10 Lamar, 102 by 20 foot, 18 flat, two foot dove. Give you a net legal payload in the 7,000 pound range, plus your tongue weight, which is gonna get you up into the 8,000 pound range. If you have any questions, give us a ring, 717-220-4220, or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.